I'm betting that whatever I'm missing, it's probably behind that locked door. And I don't see any keys. Which is a bit frustrating. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to pick it open. Whoops. I forgot that was there. Ooh. That's a nasty trap. Which I just stepped on. Well done! Hit all of the traps on the way out. Really? Well, I suppose if there's going to be someone coming in after me, they won't have to worry. And it's still raining. I'm not sure what else I expected. Let me put my coat on. There. And at least keep the rain off. It's not terribly cold out. Surprising. And I believe Rorik's stead is just down there. So I might as well duck in there for the evening. I don't really have anywhere better to be. Unless I want to go see what's over there. What? Oh. I thought this was- I thought that was empty for a brief moment. Apparently my eyes are playing tricks on me. I can't say is that surprising. Look. Another camp? What do you want to bet? More Forsworn? In which case I might as well leave Rorik instead of some issues. What is that thing? Okay. Maybe not Forsworn, but they've seen me. Frost magic, really? I'll show you what a real orc can do. Ooh. Ooh. Don't know what that is, but I'm sorry, what? Hmm. You know, you'd think they'd never seen or heard of a skull before. Who knows, they might not have. What is this thing? Ew. I don't know, but it's cold. And that's unnatural. Even if it's dead. It's not that long dead. But it shouldn't be. What's in here? Take that. Wonder if somebody wants a card. Is that a coffin? Um, yes. It is in fact a coffin. Let's see. Can't see anything over there, but that there's something in here. Probably something that needs to be killed. All right. It looks like a barrow of some description. An interesting place to hide out. Oh. 
An interesting place indeed. Why are there coffins? Alright. Something foul is going on here. Ah. Is someone there? Oh, you better believe it. Come on! It's nothing. Yeah, nothing! Ugh. What is that? Do your worst. Oh. What was that? Oh. What is this thing? I thought it was just an elf, but that's no elf. That's no any not any elf I've seen before. Too many teeth. Take the gold. Huh, I will say. I don't think I've ever quite felt my skin crawl that badly. What is going on here? Alright, well that didn't lead anywhere helpful. Guess that must have been it. Unless this is a door. Nope. Well. I'm glad I don't have to deal with one of those ever again. At least not in here. I'll make her preserve me. I have no idea what that was, but... I'm going to assume for the moment... It might have been... Um, well, it was bad, whatever it was. I don't think that was any kind of reach magic. I suppose I can ask him down. Oops. <sighs> All of that time spent being concerned about not running into the wolves, and what did I do? I ran into the wolves. You sneak it up. Come on. I have no regrets putting down a couple of wolves if they're that desperate to attack me. The smart ones are out in the hills hunting. Well, the smart and fast ones, anyway. In a place like this, I wonder if there isn't much food to go around. You know? I like this place. It's small. There's that girl not doing her chores again. Not me. Now leave me alone. Not sure which one's supposed to be doing them, but. Oh well. Wow. 
It'll be good to not have to camp in this. It's a bit grey and ugly out, isn't it? Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the coal down. I will. Let's not get in their way. Oof. Yes. Okay. Hello. If I only take real coin here. No handouts and no bargain. <laughs> what do you take me for? I'd like to rent a room. And yes, I have the coin. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know of anything that sucks the blood out from your skin, do you? The kind of creature. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Uh. Right. What am I doing on food? I suppose I could carry a bit more with me, but. Eh. Alright for now. Something warm might be nice, but. Speaking of warm, let's get out of this. Ah, it feels good to not have to wear that heavy armor. It is a bit draining. You never answered my question, that by the way. Son of mine, Eric, wants to be an adventurer. Good natured lad, but he's got no idea how dangerous the world really is. Uh, my sympathies are with you. What have you got for sale? Take a look. My own son was much like that. Take a nail. I suppose I'll take some stew as well. Ah! Your forker stew. I will take that, even though I don't know how fresh the horker is. Until next time. Mm-hmm. Good enough. Of course, now that I'm not in my armor, I feel the need to keep my back from facing anyone. I might just be a paranoid old woman, but... After having come face to face with an assassin on the road... You know... I kind of expect... Somebody else might want to stick a knife in my back. I don't know who here would be in with the Battleborns. Can't be too careful. Oh boy. All right. She seems to be following me for some reason. Well, if she wants to talk, I'm just going to sit here and read. See if she takes the bed. What is this supposed to be, anyway? The statues one sees throughout Valenwood and parts of Hammerfell and elsewhere that seem to be of a misshapen humanoid carrying a rod or of Ayus, the god of animals. If you say so. Tale of the ox and the evil farmer. So that's an ox on the front. It looks like a boar. The ox not wishing to be anybody's dinner prayed very vocally to Ayus. This came out as a loud moo, of course. So the author has a sense of humor. Interesting. I wonder if this is one of the... 
one of the gods that the Forsworn make strange sacrifices to. What is a wombat? Um, alright. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough strange books for the evening. On that note, I'm just going to turn in, I think. It'll be an early enough day tomorrow. Let me take off my backpack while I'm at it. Yeah, that's enough adventure for one day. <laughs>